And so now I'm going to turn the mic over to George Drost. George Drost has been a member of the Czech community here. Uh, his heritage is Czech. He uh, is the founding uh, partner of uh, Drost, uh, Kilaman, McMahon, and O'Connor. He founded the firm in 1985. He resides in Arlington Heights with his wife, Beth, who couldn't be with us today, but is here in spirit. He's an adjunct professor at John Marshall Law School. He's the current chair and former vice, vice chair of the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library in Cedar Rapids. He was the honorary counsel of the Czech Republic for Illinois, Indiana, and Wisconsin from 2001 and 2006 until we got our full consulate established here. So without further ado, I want to introduce you, give the mic over to George Drost. Thanks, and with 14 courses, uh, I'm gonna make my remarks uh, short. But I wanna thank Mike and Mark uh, for uh, inviting me to, to uh, this event, which is uh, very spectacular. And uh, we can always think of it as the M&M event, but the food is much better than m and M's, I think. Um, uh, some of you have had some uh, trouble getting here and uh, I, I, I too had some problems uh, locating in the Paris Cafe, or in Paris, basically. But if the directions had said Cyprus, I would have found it immediately. And uh, in fact, uh, my, my wife is recovering in Cyprus. That's an inside joke. She, she had some surgery, but she's doing very well. And, uh, Apparently she's glad to come out of the house. Um, so basically, uh, the comments I'm going to, to make today are, well, we have had a lot of history, Maastricht, uh, Finnish, and we have uh, 100 years of experience in this uh, freedom or this liberation of, to become a Czech land. So what have we taken away? What have we learned from this? And I go back to my dad, uh, was a victim of communism in 48. Uh, he was forced to leave the country, left me behind. I was actually born in Moravian Brno, so any Brno, Brnoies, you know, stand up and applaud. But uh, we talked about it, and as we matured in our, uh, uh, our assimilation in the United States, uh, my dad said, I'm not really a victim of communism, I'm, I'm a survivor. And his, his sort of attitude was, victims are owed something. Survivors can contribute something. And so in the uh, evolution of becoming an American, uh, it was what can you give back? And how do you uh, take the, the experiences that you've had and translate them into your everyday life? It's to become an active witness in, in society. And so one of the examples, and Mike just recently came back as a um, attendee participant in the John Marshall Legal Exchange Group, which has been a terrific success over the last 26 years. And I've been on them, and I know we have a lot of participants in it. And the idea was, after the Czech Velvet Revolution, that there needed to be contact. We didn't want to have these individuals in the Czech land to be isolated. We brought some knowledge as far as our legal training to these people, but they also gave us knowledge too of not only what they needed, what they expected, but they were recipients of what we had offered. We've been doing this for 26 years. And the basic underlying line philosophy here has really been come through Masaryk and through Benish and through uh, Václav Havel. And these are principles of a tolerant society, a civil society, and a rule of law. And those are some things that I think we as citizens can keep in mind. And we have a responsibility as well. And that is to keep our democracy alive and vote and become active participants. So with those short words, 
you know, long live uh, uh, democracy, long live the United States, and all of those countries that really were freed in 1918, 1919 through that World War I experience. So thank you.